This ball game is going to be four quarters. Don't lose your poise or your intensity. Neither one of them. Penalties will probably decide this game. And it's going to go our way. Between the whistles, not after the whistles. Play football. Let's play Auburn football. Let's go. Trey Smith put out as a wide receiver. Check that. He's in the backfield. Here's Cox feeling pressure. Dumps it off to Irons. 35-40. Near sideline 45 and out of bounds. Tony Taylor with the tackle, 15 yards on the gain, and that's another Auburn first down. What presence that time by Brandon Cox is Kenny Irons actually was the one who split out in the slot spot out there, and he made the catch. Cox knew exactly where he was and found him for the first down. That's a nice play call right there. It's a quick play action fake to Trey Smith up the middle, and that's a design screen play into the boundary. Kenny Irons hauls in the catch and does the rest, getting outside the 40 to the 45-yard line. Big third down right here. Auburn 51% on third downs. Third down and a long night. Closer to third and 10. Courtney Taylor in the game for the first time. He'll line up on the left side. Two receiver bunch set over there with Obamanu. Irons in the backfield. They'll drag Mix in motion from right to left. Brandon Cox dropping back. Throws underneath. Taylor makes the catch near midfield. Breaks a tackle. Spins away from one. He's got the first down into Georgia territory. Down he goes to the 44-yard line. Ray Gant. Will Thompson get to him finally, but not after he picks up 11 yards on the play. What a great play call that time by Al Borges. Nice play right there. It was sort of a delay route by Courtney Taylor. He just kind of comes underneath coverage and makes the catch, and Courtney Taylor is the best receiver at catching and get, making yards happen after the catch. He picks up another five yards to barely get the nose across the 45 of Georgia. First and 10. Ball just across the Georgia 45. Brandon Cox, four for five for 43 yards on this first possession. Three-man bunch set, left side. Aroma should do the long receiver to the right. They'll fake the handoff. Cox rolls, fires. Wallace catches it. 45, far sideline 40. First down, 35. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Greg Blue, the free safety, rides him out of bounds, but not before he picks up 14 and another Auburn first down. Hands it off to Irons over right tackle. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Auburn! 31 yards, Kenny Irons right up the gut. How about that for a statement drive? First one, Auburn starts on the seven-yard line. Brandon Cox checks off. He sees an opening over the right side. Kenny Irons, nice blocking up front. Joe Cup, Ben Grubbs, Tim Duckworth. What a surge going right up the middle. Kenny Irons did the rest for the first six of the night. Brandon Cox, first down play. Toss it back to Kenny Irons, short side of the field. 25, 30, breaks a tackle, 35, up ahead of the 38-yard line before he's brought down from behind by the strong side linebacker, Brandon Miller, pickup of 17. So far, this offensive line is just dominating the line of scrimmage. That time, a toss sweep into the boundary. Kenny Irons was not touched until he got 14 yards down the field. 17 yards, first down Auburn. Wallace in motion from right to left. Down to two. Cox takes the snap, drifting back, drops it underneath. Kenny Irons with a blocker in front of the 40, 45, 50. He's up ahead of the 45 into Georgia territory. Down to the 42-yard line. That's a first down for Auburn. Demario Mentor with the tackle. 22 yards on the play. But it took him a while to get lined up correctly, but good job right there. What a play call by Al Borges. He lines up in like a trips formation to the wide side as if he's going to run a flood route to the right side. He comes back with a screen to Kenny Irons. Good blocking downfield. 22 yards, first down Auburn. Auburn takes over. First and 10 from their own 32. Trey Smith lines up as a wide out. Now in motion from right to left. Give to Kenny Irons. Big hole. 35-40. 45. Midfield spun down into Georgia territory at the 48-yard line by Trey Battle. My goodness, 21 yards on the pickup. You could have driven two trucks through that hole. Boy, they are opening some holes in that offensive line for Auburn. Kenny Irons takes the handoff over the left side this time. Gets across midfield down to the 48-yard line. This offensive line is doing its job so far. 98 yards of rushing for Kenny Irons on top of another 37 receiving. Wallace in motion from right to left. Watch set now to the left side. Give to Lester up the middle. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Cuts up field to the 50. Into Georgia territory. To the 45-yard line. Trey Battle finally running him down. Another huge hole. 32 yards. First down Auburn in there. Quickly into Georgia territory. Well, I think you and I could have ran through that whole ride. What blocking up front. Ben Grubbs, Joe Cup opening up the hole for Brad Lester making his first action 
in two games just breaking up across the G at midfield to the 45 yard line. Second down and a short seven. Brandon Cox play action on second down. He's going to go deep near sideline looking for Mix. Makes the catch to the 10 to the 5. Ball knocked loose and out of bounds. It goes at the 2. 36 yards, Stan. What a throw and what a catch by Anthony Mix, the senior from Babinette, Alabama. Brandon Cox does a quick play action fake. Anthony Mix basically does an outside wheel route. Brandon Cox, what touch laying it over the outside Lord, shoulder we'll bring over it the back defender, the Oliver. Clock will start with the ready for Anthony play. Mix hauls it in, fumbles at the very end, but the ball goes back to the five-yard line. What a nice catch. What a beautiful, beautiful throw as well by Brandon Cox. Well, they put the ball all the way back to the six. First and goal from the six. Slaughter in there at the fullback spot. Kenny irons the tailback. Now they move Slaughter into a three-receiver bunch set to the right. And line up Leon Hart as a wide receiver. Give to Kenny Irons. He is in over the right side. Touchdown. Tigers. Kenny Irons from six yards out. Gives Auburn the lead back 13 to 10. Boy, this Auburn offense is on fire tonight so far. A toss sweep to the wide side with that bunch set to Kenny Irons. He goes untouched into the end zone. Six yards to take the lead again. Flowers does have a punt return for a touchdown this year. 54 yards and Bliss kicks a low line drive caught by Flowers at the 25. Looking for room. Bounces away at the 27. Can't get away. The 28 ball loose. Ball on the ground. Auburn says they have it. Auburn says they have it. They do. Tigers have it at the 29-yard line of Georgia. Karibi Didi falls on the football. And Auburn gets their first turnover of the night. Big play right there by the Auburn punt coverage team. A gang of tacklers forces the ball out from the receiver. And Karibi Didi right there to take it down. Auburn's got the ball at the 31-yard line going in. Spot it uh, right on the 30. So first and 10, Auburn from the Georgia 30-yard line. Thomas Flowers got caught up and just in a bunch right there and would not go down. And good job. Looked like Antarius Williams was the first one there to cause a fumble. First and 10, Tigers. Georgia converted an Auburn interception into seven points in the first half. Now the Tigers hope to return the favor. Here's Wallace in motion. And they'll fake the handoff, reverse to Obamato, around the right end to the 25, to the 20, 15, with a blocker to the 10, to the 5, he's gone! Touchdown, Auburn! 30 yards, Ben Obamato, and the Tigers have tied it up at 20. They answer right back. Cooper Wallace laid a perfect block on Greg Blue down the field. But Al Borges with the play call. A big turnover. They come back with the reverse to Obamanu. Cooper Wallace leading up blocking. And Auburn is poised to take the lead again. On second and seven, Shockley under center. Another play action. Shockley this time will be sacked. Stanley McCover, the Predator, gets back there on him at the 38-yard line. Sack for McClover that time. Stanley, he wasn't letting go. Well, that's what we talked about pregame. Stanley McClover had a great game last week. He comes up big this time to the backside of DJ Shockley. Comes on the outside rush. And he's able to bull rush and cut inside and take down Shockley for a big loss. Eight yards to be exact on the loss. First and ten for the Tigers. Brandon Cox play action. Wanting to throw deep. Now he throws deep downfield. Far sideline. Caught! Down the far sideline and out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Devin Romashudu. What a beautiful catch. Greg Blue should have been whistled for interference anyway. But Romashudu goes up, gets it, brings it down, stays in bounds for another, oh, close to 10 yards. And out will go at the 15. And that play was all set up. DeMario Mentor came on a left cornerback blitz. Marcus McNeil picked it up, and Aroma Shadu was against Greg Blue making the catch. 52 yards. Quint Reagans talked about it in his last Cook's Pest Control sideline report. That deep play was open, and Auburn took it right there. First and 10 from the Georgia 15. Cox gives to Irons around left end. He'll get to the 13. Still on his feet. All the way to the 10, and the ball comes loose, and Georgia says they recovered it. Did they? Ball is countered by Georgia. Touchdown. Georgia has it. Kenny Irons with second and third effort coughs it up.
ball came loose that's for sure as we look at the replay and Georgia comes up with it at the 11 yard line oh my goodness well and he gave just awesome effort right there but the ball just got hit perfectly and it wound up actually Kenny Iron sitting on it in the bottom of the pile I don't see how it can be conclusive the angles that we have seen just do not appear to be conclusive now you now what you've got is looking at another angle now, that's number 95 he oh, is actually yeah. out of bounds Owens Owens is the one that came up with it he was out of bounds yep. now the ball was under the pile in bounds but Owens is the first one to come up with it, the defensive tackle and he was clearly out of bounds after further review Georgia did gain possession of the ball in play second and ten single wide outs for the Bulldogs eye backfield Play action for Shockley. Here comes pressure. Thrown, caught, and dropped to the 14. Is it a fumble? I think it is. Auburn picks it up. They're going to score. Kareem Edini. Touchdown, Auburn. Touchdown, Auburn. Touchdown, Auburn. The Tigers pick up the ball and run it in. Sutherland made the catch. Got the hit. Ball was knocked loose. Kareem Edini picks it up, and the Tigers have tied this ball. And these fans are absolutely stunned. Good football teams find a way to make something happen. That time, a play-action fake. D.J. Shockley throws it out to the flat, to the fullback. And nice tackle right there by Marquise Gunn in coverage. Downfield, Karibi Didi comes up with it, takes it in for the score. Wow, what a turnabout. Holy cow. Vaughn's going to attempt the extra point now to give Auburn the lead with 9.28 to go. Place, kick, up. It's good. Auburn has taken the lead with 28-27. Still a lot of time left. 9-28 to go in the football game. What a classic we have here tonight in Athens, Georgia. First and 10 from their own 20. Brandon Cox takes the handoff, fires right, caught. Ovalanu out of bounds to stop the clock at the 29-yard line. On the far sideline, a pickup of nine. On second and one, they'll hand it off to Irons. Well, the gets to the corner, the first down. Hit hard and driven back at the 34, but he picks up the first. They'll spot his forward progress to the 35, and Greg Blue delivered a good old-fashioned hard knock on Kenny Irons. 2.05 to go, and here's your ball game for Auburn. They got to make a first down to keep this drive going. They need the 45, and this Georgia crowd making some noise like... Uh, tell you what I think this may be louder than Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge right now four wide outs two left two right fourth down and ten and a half Nick's in motion from left to right Georgia showing blitz low snap Cox picks it up looks fires downfield wide open and Robert you at the 35 30 25 20 there goes Devin there goes Devin all the way is he in? Is he in? Touchdown! And it was recovered by Courtney Taylor. Oh, there's a fumble, and Taylor recovered it in the end zone. It is a touchdown. They called it a touchdown. It was a fumble, but Courtney Taylor came up with it. Let's take a look. Yeah, Aroma should have had it knocked out right at the end. But Taylor, Taylor falls there, on it. Falls on it. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, that's right. But it, it, you know what, Stan? It will come back to the one because it was fourth down. And Devin Aroma should do has to recover the that's fumble. That's right. He has to recover the, his own fumble as the officials are talking it over now. So Devin Aroma should do makes the catch on fourth down and 10 takes it all the way to the end zone right shy of the end zone has it knocked loose somewhere around the two or three yard line Courtney Taylor falls on it on in the end zone but in that case the rules state we believe that Aroma should has to be the one to recover the fumble in the end zone for it to count as a touchdown otherwise they bring it back out to the point of the fumble. By rule on fourth down when the offensive team fumbles the ball and the ball goes forward, in this case it went in the end zone, we bring the ball back to the spot of the fumble. It's first down. It's Auburn, you know, and to be quite honest with you, that may benefit Auburn well, you because of the way these offenses have been up and down the field all night long inside of two minutes. Auburn 
wants to punch this in. There's no question about it. But with the way these offenses have been up and down yeah. all night long, and Rod, that's a great call by you because I do remember seeing that now. You, on fourth down, the fumble, the person who fumbles has to recover his own fumble just on fourth down. All right, here we go. Third down and goal from the five. 51 seconds remaining in the football game. Slaughter the fullback. Irons the tailback. Here's Brandon Cox. They're going to hand it off to Kenny Irons, and he'll get it right in the middle of the field to the two-yard line, so John Vaughn will be looking at nothing more than an extra point here. He is 9 of 17 on the year. From right between the hash marks, Matthew Motley will place it at the 10. And here we go. Vaughn, with eight seconds to go, will attempt a 20-yard field goal. Out of the snap with Crowfoot. There it is. Place, kick, up. And it's good! Oh, sweet redemption, but a flag on the play. And that's going to be roughing the kicker on Georgia. That's it. 31-30. Auburn has the lead with six seconds remaining. Sweet redemption for John Vaughn. He gives Auburn the lead. The penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. And that's here. a 15 roughing the kicker, and that means Auburn can kick off around midfield. Midfield, just kick it through the end zone. Yes, don't give him a chance. I think don't give him a chance to, to do anything crazy. Shockley and the shotgun with six seconds to work with from his own 20. No way they could get it downfield in time to kick a field goal. Here's Shockley. He's just going to drop back, roll right, looking, looking. He's going to have to just turn it loose here in a minute. Now running around. Here comes Stanley McClover. He gets bumped in the back. No whistle. Shockley throws downfield, and it's caught at the 50. Ball game over. Auburn wins 31 to 30. The Tigers have beaten ninth-ranked Georgia in Athens. Break me off a piece of, piece of the edges, folks. The Tigers win 31-30. And they have come in here and beat the number nine team in the nation. What a football game, people. What a football game. Brandon Cox, fourth down and 10, hits a Roma Shadu to go inside the five-yard line to break the hearts of the 80,000 Georgia fans here. And what a football game, Rod Bramlett. Holy cow. Absolutely unbelievable football game. Back and forth. Nine lead changes like Stan White called for. 31 to 30. John Vaughn the hero. Guys, let me tell you something. I can't be any prouder of you, of, of how you played. You know, when you, when you, we had nine different lead changes in that game. When you get behind, you just got to fight back. And that's Auburn football. The fans are proud of you. Coaches are proud of you. I mean, we brought 65 guys here that went out there, took on 90,000 people and, and a good football team. We're proud of what you did. You fought hard. You kept playing hard. And that's what Auburn football is about. Now, one guy that played football here and he lost his brother this week. We're going to give him the bank game ball. Coach Nall, come up here. Oh, no! one's over with after tonight you know what we got in front of us I mean, this season's just now starting we still got a shot it was a fight all day um the offense kept slugging. You know, we had a little bit of trouble on defense early, but, you know, the offense, you know, just kept us going. Uh, Kenny uh, fumbled the ball. You know, it was one of them 
tricky call there on the sideline, hard to get a vantage point on it. Uh, they replayed it, you know, Georgia ball, and, and we just had a plan to win the game on defense. We knew we had to make a big stop. AT forced a big time fumble. It was just laying on the ground. All I had to do was pick it up, and, and uh, Will Heron, uh, Jay Will height, you know, they set up a convoy, and I just took it in. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's undescribable. Uh, you know, yeah, just hope for a chance, and that's really all you can ask for. Offense played an amazing game, got me, got, you know, got me down there. You know, I think the coaches are sticking with me and giving me the opportunity. And, um, you know, defense played great. And, you know, Tibber had a Georgia, they played a great game. We just, we just can't, we were fortunate enough to come out on top this time. Well, it was just a call was, you know, Tiger Wright smashed Bender, and the play had been there the whole game on, you know, third, third and long. So, you know, we just, coaches was able to believe in Brandon and call it again, and Brandon was able to make a good throw, and it was just wide open for an easy catch, and, you know, rest of history. That's right. Next week, the Iron Bowl is going to be a tough game. You know, a war. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a real tough game. We just got to go out there and play. We're going against a great defense and, uh, and a great offense. So, um, you know, we just got to go out there and play.